What's up guys, it's Drew Spur from Xbox Live. Got another Borderlands video here for you today. Uh, this is Zero, my assassin class. Finally, have a video for him. Um, I've had this character since the game came out in September of last year, so I've had him for a while. Kind of put him on the back burner while I was building the other characters and figuring things out with them, but uh, been struggling for a long time to build like a melee build class build that I'm really happy with and I think I finally found it uh, I do like a zero a lot just because I tend to favor assassin type characters in games that offer those classes but also because zero is set to be really effective at either long distance or close range depending on how you want to play and uh, his setup it, it it takes a lot of experimenting and a lot of trial and error to figure out what works best for what you do. But I finally figured out a decent melee build, um, which is good because when I first started playing the game, I'd do a lot of sniping, a lot of gunplay, and uh, that worked out just fine. You know, with the people I was playing with and when I was doing single player. Uh, but as things progressed, I eventually got to a point where I was sniping less and less. I was playing games with people where, you know, sniping really wasn't uh, useful because, you know, they're playing tanks and they're running in and just mowing everything down. So uh, I needed to work something out where I could be down in close range in the fun, in the action as well. And that's what I have here. So um, definitely going to go through this build, explain what I did, why I did it, and then I'm going to showcase it in the natural selection annex since I already cleared the other arenas with him because this build is crazy like while I was recording this I was pulling off melee attacks for five million points I'm not even kidding so we're gonna run through the tree obviously deception uh, allows you to deploy a holographic decoy and vanish for a few seconds the longer you're in deception the more damage your attacks do uh, and so on and so forth, but we got points in, 10 points in Killing Blow, melee attacks in uh, Killing Blow, they do 1000% melee damage. So if you look here, we have 650% melee damage bonus while in Deception, and 200% gun damage, 250% gun critical hit. Now as I was saying, the, the longer you stay in Deception, the more damage your next attack will do, but it slows down your cooldown, uh, whereas the less time you're in it, the faster your cooldown. Uh, but the cooldown on this is 15 seconds. It's the fastest cooldown of any of the skills in the game. Uh, all the others vary between 42 and 60 seconds, so not really investing any points into speeding up the cooldown because it's already a very fast cooldown. Um, Normally with legendary class mods, I'll put at least one point in each skill being buffed by it, but this time around I didn't. As you can see, I have no points in the sniping tree. Uh, but yes, as I was saying earlier, 10 points in a killing blow. Massively increases melee damage against enemies with low health. Melee damage plus 1,000%. So anytime you run into an enemy with low health, that's 1,000% melee. That's insane. That's, that's how you get like millions of damage on your melee attacks that there and then so we got that set up that's being buffed by the legendary hunter class mod 10 point or 5 points so it's 10 points out of 5 and uh, then after that we're going to put 5 points into iron hand which is also buffed to 10 uh, increases melee damage and max health both by 30% so that's an additional 30% for melee. As I said, didn't really invest anything into Grim because 15 seconds is already a pretty fast cooldown. Don't really need it much faster than that. Um, so this is really not worth it. So then we went on ahead and put two points into flow like water. And uh, because while that's buffed at full, it is pretty nice, but it's not necessary because not doing a lot of uh, gunplay. I mean, it is inevitable that you will end up out of deception mode and have to use your guns, 
you can't solely 100% melee all the time. So we did put a couple points into it so that when we do use gunplay, it buffs melee. And when we use melee and come out of deception, it'll buff our gunplay. So uh, at full, I think it's something like 20 or 30%, but that's not really necessary. Everything else we're putting in here is going to take care of the melee damage pretty well. And that's the primary concern with this build is the melee, not so much the gunplay. Uh, but... Yeah, so you know, with the 30% there and the 12% there, that's 42% melee plus the uh, other bonuses. And then flow through or follow through uh, increases movement speed, melee damage, and gun damage for every kill you do. So we get an increased 40% movement speed, 40% melee, and 30% gun damage. So between that, we got 40% there for melee, 30% from Iron Fist, and another 12% from Be Like Water. So you're talking right there like 82% buff plus the other skills. Execute melee override. So when you're in deception and you have an enemy in your crosshairs, uh, you can press the melee button to dash forward for a short distance and perform a special melee attack which does massive damage. Uh, backstab. I want to talk about backstab because uh, backstab seems to be pretty well debated when it comes to melee builds, but I'm using it and this is why. Uh, most people claim when doing backstab that, uh, well, you can't necessarily get behind the enemy. you got to walk around, waste time, blah, 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 whatever. But um, if you're running toward an enemy and you throw your decoy over their shoulder, guess what? they have to turn around. So that's a free 40% melee damage on top of the 82% melee damage we're already looking at. So that's 122% melee damage buff just from those skills there. It's not including the other skills like the thousand percent and so on and so forth. So that's why we're doing backstab because it's actually pretty easy to pull off. Resurgence, doing melee kills heals you 20% health. Um, I use Law and Order, so most of the time I'm getting heals from my melee strikes anyway, whether they kill or not. But uh, there will be times when I want to switch shields for whatever reason. So, and even when I'm using Law and Order, it never hurts to get a little extra health on that buff. So, 20% health buff when we do a melee kill. So that's pretty sweet. Definitely useful. So, uh, like the wind. Moving gives you extra melee and gun damage and extra 15% melee damage. So now we're up to uh, almost 150% melee damage bonus uh, at this point. And then many must fall. Killing an enemy with a melee attack while in deception allows you to deploy another holographic decoy and re-stealth and add time to deception's duration. Uh, this can be done multiple times in succession. With this build, you will be able to use many must fall in true Vault Hunter mode, uh, even at 2.5 playthrough, which is when you kill Terramorphous and everything levels up to 50. That's the game I'm in right now with Zero, and you're going to see me do a lot of deception proccing on Many Must Fall. Even level 50 characters will get smoked. So, uh, next, Counter-Strike. After getting hit, next melee, chance has, melee attack has a chance to do massive damage up to 500%. So that's 500% there, 1,000% with Killing Blow, and the rest of our, our buffs are rocking 150%. So you're talking almost 2,000% melee buff at certain times. So that is just insane. Ambush increases damage when attacking from behind or when attacking an enemy who's targeting someone other than you. That includes your decoy. So throughout a decoy... Boom, ambush procs, you got 20% damage on top of everything else. And that's 20% damage from any source, not just melee. Death mark, dealing melee damage marks a target for short duration. Target takes additional damage from all sources. Mark targets take 20% additional damage from all sources for 8 seconds. So that's, again, very, very insane melee stacks going on here so there's really no point in stacking in anything else now the equipment uh, like I said I use law and order because law here you can see it's a pretty decent pistol almost 14,000 damage 
plus 100% melee damage. It's a Jacob, so it'll fire as fast as you pull the trigger. But it works in combination with Law, because Law, when you have, or I mean with Order, I'm sorry, because when you have Order equipped, it heals you when you do melee damage. Um, Gunstock Maggie, just a backup pistol for a little extra punch. As you can see, it does close to 30,000 gun damage, so a lot more than the other pistol, nor fleet, just because it is inevitable that at some point we'll go into fight for your life mode, need something to get out of it, conference call, because it's a conference call. <clears throat> Here's order. It's a melee shield, 35, almost 36,000 capacity, almost 24,000 roid damage. So when the shield depletes, on top of everything else I'm doing with melee, I get another 24,000 points of damage. And like I said, when you have law equipped and you do damage, <clears throat> order heals you. So always going to be healing, always going to be doing damage. doesn't really matter if the shield's depleted. If we want the shield depleted so we get that extra roid damage, get those heals. Um, sometimes, though, I might use a different roid shield, like I have this Hide of Terramorphous. I also have uh, the Love Thumper. Hide of Terramorphous, higher shield capacity, higher roid damage. It also does Novas and Spikes. Love Thumper, same roid damage, just a little bit higher shield capacity. Um, but, of course, the bread and butter is that you get heals from Order when you're using Law. So, um, also... The heals come here from this. That's why I put points into Resurgence, because when you're not using Order, you still get heals on your melee kills. Um, Legendary Hunter class mod, cooldown rate buff, critical damage buff, reload speed buff. And whenever you're using Deception, you instantly restore 10% of your health. So there's a little more health regen going on right there. And uh, uh, Transfusion Grenades are good to have as well for healing. I've got the Robrise Corrosivo negative and the Longbow Slago negative. I prefer um, to use Longbows, but Robrise is decent when you're dealing with hordes because it's going to bounce around, it's going to hit something. You've got some other grenades in here for fun, but Transfusion again is important for heals when you're doing this kind of stuff. And uh, so we're definitely going to use both of these. Uh, the coro or I also have a meteor shower. I was using the explosive or the bonus package for a while, but the meteor shower is actually bigger. And then I have a breath of terramorphous and a longbow storm front just for shits and giggles. Uh, Might of the Seraphs melee damage bonus of another thirty percent, thirty one percent, and cooldown on the uh, killing strike override of thirty percent. So.